Hello friends, welcome back to Mesh Fix Auto. Currently you are watching Jimny Cookbook series where we talk about everything about Jimny. This video is breakdown to avoid the long duration of the video. I would also suggest to watch these part 1 and part 2 sequentially so you can decide which particular transmission type you should go for. In case you are planning to buy Jimny or you are already in the end of planning in both the cases there is a one common question which particular transmission is good in which particular condition. I'm sure you are smart enough to deal with or handle your budgets which feature you should go for and there are many other aspects what it makes difficult is a decision between automatic transmission and manual transmission that is something very tricky and answers to these questions are also tricky but don't worry i'll try to make those answers easier for you so what i thought is let me just share my experiences what i have how this is going to be helpful for the new buyers so let's go and understand the kind of environment you are in where most of the time actually you drive your vehicle so that's a very important factor if suppose you most of the time drive your vehicle in the rural area and there are lots of off road things and most of the time you are on the bad roads and especially you are in some terrains those terrains demands a lot of control on the vehicle in that case i would suggest you go for mt gearbox because mt gearbox give you more and more control over the at gearbox i'm not saying that at gearbox is not going to work in those conditions that will also work but if sometime if you need very fine control and you are the person who can really leverage those controls then you should go for MT gearbox MT gearbox are really reliable and very good on those conditions unless and until you burn your clutches right so don't burn your clutches there are two conditions which are very very favorable with AT gearboxes if most of the time you do the city driving in city driving using AT gearbox is a charm trust me in bumper to bumper driving nothing like it it will clearly defeat the MT gearbox because when you are in a bumper to bumper driving you literally crawl your vehicle slowly you need not to use your left foot to engage clutch again and again in those situation some people burn out the clutch very soon that is not going to happen with AT i'm not saying the clutches are not there in case of AT but that is totally controlled by its transmission you are not controlling it how much of clutches need to be used how much of efforts need to be put that is pre calculated based on the speed and based on the requirement in this situation at clearly defeats mt gearboxes trust me there is one more situation where you enjoy at gearbox whether your vehicle is in 70 80 or 90 this thing actually hardly bothers you and calmly in a very relaxed way you want to be on a highway you will enjoy that if you are a person you want to control more on a highway and you want to really rush your vehicle then go for mt hopefully you understand that There is one more thing. There are some people who really drive the vehicle in such a way they really want to control their vehicle. They want to have a total control on the vehicle, and especially few enthusiasts who actually want to control and need a power on demand and want to have total control on the vehicle. In that case, the people has to go for empty gearboxes. But if you are a person who want to live a lavish life and very very comfortable life and want to enjoy your life its own flow, then go for AT. You will really enjoy that. I'm telling you. And you don't want to control anything. Let it control by itself. And you just need to put a drive mode. And you just need to put one particular mode wherever you want to be. And then enjoy the ride. No need to put your brain and just concentrate on the steering. and in front of you if there is everything all right in front of you on highway or in the city that's it the only thing you need to do is apply brake push the throttle that's it so hopefully you understand that so let's move to the next one well there is a one more parameter based on that you should decide whether you should go for at or mt that is an off road capability so this off road capability is not a vehicle it is the off road capability of you how much you are comfortable with that if you are a person who is really really comfortable with the off road capabilities and you are the person who know how to control a vehicle and you are the person who really enjoy to control the vehicle at the fullest level and do lots of lots of offloading then i think you should go for mt only i'm not saying again you can't do this with the at but there is a little limited control with the at and that is not going to give you power and demand however you can switch from one particular mode to another mode the level of control what you actually need in case of offload sometime that control is not going to be there in case of mt for sure this is not a very good example still i'm just want to give you some people really 
will need to control the vehicle with a half clutch. <laughs> it is not recommended. Don't use a half clutch actually. In some situation, you need to get more torque. The half clutch is being used. That is sometimes required whenever you're stuck. I'm not saying you should use it. Most of the time, you have to use the momentum of the vehicle and the 4x4 system. Yes, I agree. But still, sometimes the half clutch is in use. And some people hardly bother about the clutch life. If the clutch basically go off in 40,000, 50,000, it's just a matter of maybe 7, 8,000, 10,000 rupees to change the clutch and maybe some clutch bearing and maybe a little bit more stuff and a little bit more money and you can change it. But they want to enjoy the total control on the vehicle because they know off-roading so well in that case go for empty if you are not going to do any off-roading and you don't want any control on the vehicle you want to get control its own as i said before in that case you can go for 80. you are not supposed enthusiast and you are not basically off-roading person but still you have something you heard in your mind you want to do some off-roading in that case how to take a decision i understand so there are two ways one if suppose you are in the learning stage and you are a slow learner and you know it may take four to five or ten years time basically get your hands dirty fully and you really understand the 4x4 system before you really go into this discussion whether go for MT or AT in that case go for AT because in that case you will learn lots of off-roading and the other way is first marriage then love so <laughs> first you get actually empty gearbox with you then slowly and gradually and maybe fast you understand everything and start loving that empty gearbox for offloading because you are not an offloading person but you want to become an offloading person in that case first get married then do the love with the empty gearbox so it's up to you how you're going to handle it hopefully you understand that so let's move to the next one Suppose you are a highway person and most of the time you drive on highway and city driving is very less and occasionally sometimes you go for some off-roads. In that case, I think going for MT or AT is not going to make a big difference but still there are some differences we need to understand those. Both the vehicles are not the highway vehicles truly. When I say this, the meaning is you can't compare Jimny with any other sedan or any other highway hatchbacks you normally drive neither with the speed nor with the brakes but apart from that jimny is a very balanced vehicle off-roading as well as on the highway i'm not saying the highway it is bad no not at all it is bad and i'm not saying the brakes of jimny is not good drive any letter on frame chassis vehicle most of the letter on frame chassis vehicle in these price ranges you will not find the braking distance is very short however among many vehicles jimny is very good but here the debate is about whether we should go for at or mt this is a little tricky question actually but let me just try to explain that to you there's a definitely a deciding factor if you need a little more punchy car then go for empty if you need a little lesser punchy then go for 80 but apart from that also there are few things i just want to tell you both the vehicles are not designed to go on the top speeds reaching to that 120 speed or 100 speed is much faster in case of empty and 80 editions are a little slower and also if i'm not wrong the official top speed of empty is 155 hopefully i'm not wrong and the top speed of 80 version is 135 approximately just around that maybe so gear box basically stops you to go on the top speeds maybe someone can show okay with the 80 gearbox no no i achieve 140 this is sometimes is doable right just rush your vehicle like anything and go on the red lines right but that is not good for an engine right so what i'm trying to say here is because the vehicle will design for the top speeds go easier on the higher speeds so likewise jimny empty go little easier on the higher speeds then the 80. If you are a person who really enjoy you know, 120 but at the same time you don't want to rush, you don't want to push your vehicle, even it will take time, maybe one minute and slowly and gradually that vehicle goes on that particular speed and you want to retain on the speed for the long ride then you should go for 80. If you want to have a vehicle little punchier than 80 then go for empty in that case. You will also enjoy automatic transmission on highways but I don't think so we really need to go that beyond because the speed of 100 is very good i believe right sometime rarely probably we need to do that but not always right this is all what i can say so let's move to the next one in case of all 4x4 categories the petrol cars jimmy is one of the most fuel efficient car actually i'm not saying that actually should compete with 
any other car in market for example the bellino frongs and many other fuel efficient cars in market in case of ladder and frame chassis no other car in my knowledge give you better fuel efficiency than jimny as per ri the fuel economy of mt is 16.94 and for at it is 16.39 if i'm not wrong that is actually half a kilometer difference between these two but let's analyze based on my experience what are the differences in the real time i just want to share it with you this chimney i have basically this is an mt gearbox i also get a chance on 80 gearbox to drive in cities highways to see the potential so let me share my experience with you uh, i never reached that 16.94 on highways because i can't stay on 75 or 80 km per hour speed on a highway i actually pick a very sweet spot and that sweet spot is around 85 kilometers right so whenever i need an economy from the vehicle actually what i do is i use the moment of the car and i use very very light foot and wherever possible the gradual momentum i use with the very light foot and i drive the vehicle around 85 sometime little more sometime little less then it give me 16.5 with the two people on board if there are four people suppose then fuel economy actually drop by maybe half a kilometer or maybe sometime one kilometer it depends not all the time basically highways are that free in case of 80 on highways 80 give you little lesser average maybe it's a 15.5 again with a very very light foot don't rush gradually go on speed of 85 maybe it will take 30 40 seconds and that is very poor kind of driving right <laughs> <laughs> and this is the only way you can get a very good economy from the vehicle right even though the crude price is basically very less nowadays still the people of india are paying very high prices so because this is a different discussion let's not speak about that and let's concentrate on saving the fuel so <laughs> this is the way actually i save fuel but sometime i'm basically in hurry i push the throttle a little harder suppose i drive on 100 and 105 sometime right and uh, sometime go on 110 very rarely but not with a very light foot but maybe little aggressive foot in that case the average is going to be 14.5 and if really very aggressive and you want to keep many vehicles behind you <laughs> no, no user because there are more vehicles you know front of you so in that case maybe it's a 13 13.5 maybe but with 80 again it's a drop by one kilometer because i drive both the vehicles on highway so that's the reason i'm telling you and now there's a catch suppose you're in cities and there's a bumper to bumper calling traffic trust me you will get a little better average in case of 80 than in every time you have to change the gear you might say no no you can drive in a second gear but that traffic is not basically second gear traffic again you have to come back to the first gear but that will not going to happen in case of 80 based on the speed of the car it actually changes the gear in that situation trust me you will get a little better average in case of 80 now you need to decide yourself and based on your driving pattern you can go for either of the car where exactly you are going to drive this vehicle more the fuel efficiency is a one of the serious matter and everybody want to save it so let's move to the next one now let's talk about another important topic which is the cost and maintenance of the car so let me just talk about some merits and demerits each of them suppose you want to buy an empty car so definitely this is going to be cheaper for you lesser price you are going to pay that is some money you are going to save that is the one benefit of that the second benefit of that is the maintenance cost of the empty gearbox is lesser than 80 because in case of empty there are lesser moving parts inside so it is a less complex so less complex and lesser part is basically the maintenance of the vehicle is cheaper than 80 but what is the drawback in case of empty gearboxes you control your Self everything for example if you drive your car with a half clutch in case of empty clutch definitely burns out though it's a basically less maintenance but it's an early maintenance in case of empty especially on clutch front but in case of 80 there are lesser chances especially with the clutch plates so based on your driving style the maintenance of the empty gearbox varies so that's a thing basically you need to consider so first thing goes in the favor of 80 gearbox is it basically having a longer life and the only reason of the longer life because you are not controlling it so not you but i'm not controlling it whenever we, you know a people want to control something they also do some damages right if their control are not very good that happens but in case of 80 almost everything is controlled by 80 gearbox once you selected the mode nothing else you have to do another merit of the 80 gearbox is maybe the clutch of the vehicle actually go with the lifespan of the vehicle because not much things are in control it basically having a better life and that really works and that happens actually 
AT gearbox, there are two major drawbacks. One, there is a more upfront cost. So you have to pay very high price to buy a AT gearbox. And in maximum cars, the AT gearbox are costly. It's not just chimney, right? One thing I want to tell you, AT gearbox in Jimny is not a CVT, it's a torque converter only. Many people think this is a basically CVT based gearbox. One Nexa person actually told me one day this is a CVT. I told him this is not a CVT, this is basically torque converter based. So, <laughs> so this is not CVT. This is not a debate between CVT and AT. I'll, I'll make a separate video on those all transmission boxes. There is a more upfront cost, that is the one thing. It is basically thing to consider. And by some reason, after warranty, there is some issue with the AT gearbox. Then maintenance and repair cost of AT gearbox is very heavy. Trust me, the life of the AT gearbox is so long, you need not to change the clutch plates. So this is all about the cost and maintenance of these two gearboxes. So let's go and conclude the video. So my friends, we have discussed lots of point in favor and against of 18 empty gearboxes. In spite of those, both the variants of uh, Jimny, whether it is AT or MT, actually offers you rugged charm and the off-road capabilities. And those off-road capabilities are there actually in its DNA, respective of whether it is an MT or AT. However, based on your personal experience, your personal drivability, you can decide whether you should go for AT or MT version. If you prefer more relaxed and comfortable drive, and if you prefer your convenience over the manual control, if you drive most of the time in a heavy traffic condition, then also you can go for AT. If you are looking for any vehicle which is easier to drive and the drivability is really relaxing and still you need some 4x4 vehicle, then in that case you can go for Jimny 80. And also you love off-roading but you really don't have that experience with you. In that case, Jimny 80 really helps you slowly and gradually you will learn about that. In that case, you can go for AT variant. So let's quickly talk about why we should go for MT. You should go for MT if you actually enjoy more engaging driving, where basically you need more and more control on the vehicle and you also need power on demand. Whenever you need something in a very specific condition, you need more control on the vehicle. In that case, also you can go for empty gearbox. If you are seriously planning for the off-road, by this vehicle in the longer term, then also you can think about empty gearboxes. And also, if you are in hills, and most of the time basically you drive your vehicle in hills, and you also enjoy empty gearboxes, go for empty. If you don't know much about the off-roading and driving on the hills, and you don't know how to control different gears in different situations in hills, in that case, probably you can consider 80. Otherwise, most preferred is empty. In case you don't mind shifting gears in heavy traffic and hilly roads, hilly conditions, in that case also, you can go for empty. But if you are not the one, then you can go accordingly. If you enjoyed this video, like this video, share this video with your nears and dears, subscribe my channel. Currently, you are watching Jimny Cookbook series where we talk about everything about Jimny and we'll actually layer out everything about Jimny. So this is the time to go off. I'll see you in the next video next time. Till then, bye-bye.